sand key diagrams, and energy density are things that are important for exams, but are actually not very hard. That's the good news. Uh, so for the sand key diagrams themselves, let's take a look at this and see if we can figure this out. Uh, usually they're drawn like this, like this sort of you know uh, structure that sort of comes in, and then you've got some arrows that go out and arrows that go out like this. And what this normally represents, see these width of the arrows? That's the power or the energy. So however wide these ones are, so for example, this width right here, that will tell you actually the, um, we could see the energy in, we could say. This could be in joules or whatever. Um, and this one right here then, this here will be what we call the useful energy out. This is what's gonna be really important here. Uh, remember, this could also be power or whatever. And this right here, the width of this one right here, that tells you about the uh, losses. So these losses could be due to you know heat, it could be due to friction, it could be due to lots of other wasteful things. So basically, as long as you know sort of the energy coming in, and you can look at all the energy that was lost, and then it reverses the uh, useful energy out. And so I've got a little example here that I've sort of cut and paste here. So we had the energy input, for example, is 20 little squares. It doesn't even matter what units those were. Let's just say this here was 20 in. So let's just say that was, that was 20. Um, and let's say then this one here, the useful energy out was 6. Uh, and then of course we wasted, uh, they just have to add up. So this here, for example, will be 14. Let's just say those are the numbers that we'd put in. If we'd put those in, you can say, well, what's the efficiency? This is something that we need to know for sand key diagrams. This is a way to draw these processes and look at where the energy goes. Uh, and the efficiency in this case then is the useful output over the total input. So I hope that makes sense. That's what you get out. So in this case, it'd be six over uh, 20. Uh, that's why they put it right here. So that's why it, uh, of course, it would reduce, but you can just do it on a calculator. You get 0.3. So in other words, this particular um, situation here is only 30% efficient. That's really all there is to sand key diagrams. They show up often enough, but they're actually really easy. You just got to know inner, uh, efficiency is useful output over total input. In other words, and this could be energy, could be power, could be whatever. All right. Next, we've got energy density. I really like this one, it's energy density, it's just the energy released divided by the mass of the fuel used. Uh, so I love this one here. This is again from xkcd.com. This is a great one here. So if you go there, this is one of the many, many pictures he did. So yeah, like the science tip, log scales are for quitters who can't find enough paper to make their points properly. Because if we look at the fuel energy density, okay, if we look at megajoules per kilogram, do you see energy density is all about the energy released per mass used? It's a way to compare different energy sources. So if you look at, you know, how much joules do you get versus how many kilograms do you need of this material or whatever to do it. And that's why you have like sugar is 19 uh, megajoules for every kilogram. And you have, uh, although it's like fat, you know, you have coal, fat, gasoline. This is why we use gasoline a lot of the times because it's more energy dense. The only problem is it's a, you know, obviously a limited resource, but it's easy to get at. Well, relatively easy. Uh, the reason why we use nuclear power is because, well, uranium, for example, is 76 million megajoules per kilogram. So you could just say, obviously, it's many orders of magnitude. I love how they got like the paper all stacked like this. So basically, this is actually why we use uranium. It's because it's very energy dense. Of course, it has its own issues, like uh, what do you do with some of the fuel after you're done with it and some of the sort of... Um, yeah, the waste products of this uh, have to be well taken care of, but you get so much more energy per kilogram. So this is this is actually why we use it. So different materials have different energy densities. And surprisingly, that's kind of all you need from this. So this video is done. See ya.